So today on the campus platform, we have something really cool to discuss. Myself and Taylor, we went out to speaking to a couple of students to find out if they know a lot about campus security. Uh, the first question we asked them is if they feel unsafe walking around campus mm. or going to and from campus late at night. Yeah, like I think it's, it's not so bad for me because I'm a male, but I think for girls it's probably worse. Uh, no, not really. Yes, on the way to the car train oh, okay. at night, only at night. No, I don't. Not a lot of females feel safer mm. on campus, and some of the guys don't as well, but some actually do. But yeah. it's a small percentage of them who actually feel comfortable. The next question we asked them is, did they know what the campus security number is? I don't know it off by heart, but I have it somewhere in my purse. I always have it in my bag. Actually, I have no idea. No, I do not. But then I have that card that was given to you like during orientation week. No, I don't know it, but I think it is on my student card. I don't know it, but it's on my phone. It seems like a lot of people, a lot of students keep their, uh, the campus security number on them, on their yeah. phone or, you know, their notes at the back of their student cards. Mm -hmm. So we asked them another question. We asked them if they knew anything about the Green uh, Roots projects. Never heard of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I've heard about it. Nope. Yes. I, myself, I've personally used the Green Roots mm. project. Very easy to get in touch with campus security. And they're willing to walk you to areas surrounding campus. So it's it's quite interesting to hear that some of them do know about it, but they haven't really used it. Yeah. And some have no idea. Yes, yeah, very interesting. The next question we ask them is, what do they need to do when they need to call an ambulance when they're on campus? Mm. I don't know. Shout I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I call that 17 number. It's on my phone, saved, as emergency. I don't know. Probably call 911 on my cell phone, that's about it. Um, yo, I don't know. <laughs> you dial 112. It seems like many people don't know that there's actually a separate number that you need to call and mm -hmm. then they will call the ambulance for you. It's not 911. You can't call it for an ambulance on campus. It's 012-420-2310. And once they've called you an ambulance, if you have a medical aid, then they'll take you to a private hospital. Mm. And if you don't, they will take you to a public hospital. And just speaking a little bit about the Green Roots Project. Now, they don't take you to surrounding areas in a car, in a fancy car, anything no, no, no. like that. They walk you on foot and uh, the security guard walks with you. And the meeting points uh, vary from campus to campus. Like here on the main campus, the Hatfield campus, in front of the APSA ATM, next to the Marinsky Library at Prince off campus in front of the H.W. Sneeman building and Grundliff campus between the administration building and the auditorium and Galafon campus in front of the Klinikala building. So if you can't get yeah. to those places, always just approach a security, a security guard, guard and ask them what the procedure is and hopefully they'll organize you a walking buddy. Yeah, and then you won't have to feel so unsafe around campus, especially walking to your car or even to res. And also, uh, they've got their crisis line, which is 0800 006428. Be sure to save that on your cell phone. It's also at the back of your student card if you don't have a phone on you. Uh, by the book is actually an email address, by the book at up.ac.za. This email address, uh, students can email if they have any queries about rules, regulations, penalties, and or issues of misconduct. And these will be handled, they'll be answered uh, by the Department of Legal Services and they'll via via email. And uh, hopefully if, if it's a good issue, then we can discuss it on air to see what other students think. Yep.